This is the Global Economic Commodities and Scrap Metal and Recycling Report by our Benley Roloff Trailers and Gondola Trailers for October 11, 2021. This is Brian Sides reporting while Greg Brown is out of the United States. U.S. weekly crude steel production fell to 1.872 million tons, an 84.8% steel mill utilization rate versus 91% plus in 2008. Importantly, demand remains strong as production is slowly trending up. WTI crude oil price rose to 79.35 per barrel. It went over $80 last Friday for the first time since November 2014. Furthermore, higher natural gas prices are bringing in oil as a substitute. Also, OPEC and U.S. producers are only very slowly increasing production. The U.S. weekly oil rig count rose to 433 on good demand. Moreover, the very slow increase is bringing the higher prices. Scrap steel number one HMS price rose very slightly to $414 per gross ton on good demand and good supply. Hot roll coil steel price fell to $96.79 per hundredweight, $1,936 per ton near the record. Importantly, this was on continued good demand and tight supply. Copper price rose to $4.28 cents per pound on global economic uncertainty and higher energy prices. Aluminum price rose to $1.31 per pound, $2,889 per metric ton. Importantly, this was on strong demand, supply shortages, and higher energy prices. U.S. trade deficit with the rest of the world. It widened, became worse, to $73.3 billion, a new record high. Importantly, this was on decades of bad policy and on rising imports of pharmaceutical preparations and toys. U.S. October IBD TIPP Economic Optimism Index. It fell to 46.8, with below 50 being pessimistic. People are concerned about the economy and government policies, but positive about their personal finances. U.S. September new jobs report fell to 194,000, the lowest this year. Leisure, hospitality, and business services rose the most. Importantly, the lack of workers is holding back the U.S. and global economy. U.S. September unemployment rate fell to 4.8%, well above February 2020's 3.5%. But while some of the decrease is due to more, to more people working, 183,000 people left the workforce. Importantly, when workers leave the workforce, they are not considered unemployed. So that helps the percent unemployment rate. U.S. labor participation rate, which is people working or looking for work versus working age civilians. It fell to 61.6% as the, the 183,000 people simply left the workforce. We must get people back into the workforce versus sitting at home. U.S. August new orders for manufactured goods. They jumped 1.2% and July was upwardly revised to 0.7%. Importantly, non-defense aircraft and parts soared 77.9%. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 52 points to 37,746, so it remains very high. Moreover, this was on the poor jobs report, the debt increase deal in Washington, and on a new record U.S. trade deficit. As always, feel free to call Greg or email him with any questions, and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.